good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about why give water to a goose. That's right. Why give water to a goose? But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the land that we call Egypt today, there lived a man whose name has been lost to history, but his story has not. This man, who was one of my ancestors, no less, was a worthy attendant on the lead ship which sailed on behalf of the king. It is said that this worthy attendant would always give the lords, who were the captains of Pharaoh's ship, the same words of wisdom upon their return. Why at dawn would you give water to a goose who will be slaughtered in the morning? His meaning behind this phrase was rooted in something that happened to him when he was a young sailor on a ship, much like the ones he was a worthy attendant on. One day, while at sea with 120 of the finest sailors of Egypt, his crew encountered a powerful storm, and they were capsized. Everyone died but the worthy attendant, and he was only saved by being tossed on an island in the middle of the sea. He spent several days on this island before hunger caused him to search for food. While searching, he heard a thunderous noise, and he saw the trees before him moving and parting as if something large were approaching. Astonished, he fell down to his face and belly when a 45-foot snake emerged with his head raised. Who are you, and who brought you to my island? The snake bellowed. Tell me, or I will burn you to ashes. The man told the snake who he was, and how he was shipwrecked on the island, and how all of his fellows were dead. The snake sympathized with the man, and told him a similar story of his own. He said he was once on the island with 75 others. They were all family, and several of them were children. One day, a star fell from heaven and killed everyone save him alone. The snake then befriended the man and told him he would spend four months on the island and then he would be rescued. You would die in Egypt with your wife and children, the snake prophesied. After four months exactly, a rescue ship came. The man fell down before the snake again and thanked him for his kindness. He promised to bring back for the snake many treasures from Egypt. The man also promised that he would tell everyone about the snake and all the wisdom that he gave him. The snake laughed. Why at dawn would you give water to a goose who will be slaughtered in the morning, he asked, looking down at the man. It serves no real purpose for the goose. I have all the treasures that you named in abundance on this island. Besides, once you leave, you will never see this island again. And remember, sometimes a thing which is revealed is for you alone. They will not believe you anyway. And so, the morning motivation of today is, why give water to a goose? Today, family, I want you to remember the mission that you are on. Forget the naysayers. Forget the backbiters. Forget the haters. And forget those who want you to fail. The main reason no one understands your vision at first is because the vision was given to you and not them. And if you're being honest with yourself, You can barely understand it at times, let alone explain it coherently. Your mission, your vision, your experience is not meant to be explained. It is meant to be displayed. It is not to be discussed. It is to be done. So today, family, go out and do good. And remember, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are wonderful. And you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.